Well, hello, welcome everybody. It's another Facebook Friday, another Frilici Friday. I'm officially using my new phone for these Facebook Lives and it looks a lot different. So I'm gonna have to get used to that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I, once again, I went to um, push the live button and hey, Nikki, how are you doing? And something was like not right with it. Hey, Julie, how are you guys? Thank you for your patience. I was having a um, problem getting on. I had to turn my phone off and turn it back on. So I don't know, it's just futzy, I guess. Now I'll have to remember that. So hey, Diana, hey, Philomena. Thank you guys so much. I'm glad everybody's finding uh, where we are, what's going on. So yeah, what has been going on? Honestly, um, the bats have kind of taken over my life. <laughs> Not loving living in a house with bats. I've got people that I think are gonna be able to help me out and well, I don't know, honestly it's so expensive, but I just cannot like live with worrying about the bats like in the house every night. Every night about 8.30 or 9 o'clock, I'm like, okay, is tonight the night that one of them's gonna come visit me again? So anyway, yeah, like, woo, okay. I'm just, I'm, I haven't seen them at all during the day, so that's a good thing. Cause one year we did have one in the middle of the day too. And that is like, I, it's not as freaky as at night. I don't know what it is about black bats at night. But anyway, so yeah, hopefully everybody's good. Um, what is going on? I actually thought I would kind of keep this uh, live a little bit shorter today is my hope. Although I tend to always like ramble on and on anyway. Um, but I have class down at the stamp studio um, this afternoon. And so I'm hoping to not uh, um, be able, you know, to not rush out the door quite so much like I usually am. So, hey, Denise, thank you. Yeah, I got my hair chopped. So, um, yeah, and bats, yikes. I know, Nikki. Um, yeah, but I got my hair cut yesterday. And so that was my other. I'm like, okay, now we have to learn how to do it again, which I'm not, I don't know. It's like trying to curl it. I usually wear it straight. So she curled it yesterday and it was super cute. So I'm like, now I got to try to curl it too, but it took me longer than I expected. So anyway, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to keep things a little bit shorter and sweeter. And there's not a lot going on. I was thinking like in terms of reminders to let you guys know about. Um, just make sure the bonus days, coupons, um, if you have got those, hey Debbie, how are you? If you have those and you haven't used them yet, make sure you do that because you've got until the end. Hey Louise, yay, lots of people on today. Um, you have until the end of August to use your bonus days coupon. So you can order right online. Um, if you make sure to use that host code that's at Gathering Inc inspiration.com. Hey Sandra, thank you. <laughs> I know I got like four, four or five inches chopped off. I kind of been wanting to do it for a while and I just finally am like, okay, my hair grows pretty quickly. So if I hate it, I can always grow it longer. So yeah, but that's what we're doing. The only thing is I usually like pull my hair in like a big knot on the top of my head, like um, any day that I don't have to see people, which is a lot of, <laughs> a lot of times. And so I'm not able to do that anymore. So I have to figure out a new um, hairdo for those days. So yeah, um, okay, yeah, so bonus days. Make sure you bonus days, coupons, make sure you use those. Um, and then also starter kit deals still going on. We've got that through the end of August also. You pick $155 in product, pay only $99 plus sales tax. The shipping fee is waived. You can become an inspired stamper and be a part of our group, which we would love, love, love to have you join our inspired stampers group. So hey, Marianne, yay, everybody is on. This is good stuff. Um, so I think let's just jump right in. We're going to do our first drawing. Um, what are we giving away? We are giving away the denim 3 8 inch ribbon. And I probably, I don't know, did I show one that had, ooh, if I had, nope, I don't have anything right here in front of me. But yeah, so the denim, and you can kind of see it's got that denim. Hey, Rosemary, how are you doing? Married woman now, congratulations. Um, yeah, so the denim ribbon, this is what we're going to give away today. So you got an entry in the drawing if you commented on Facebook Live, and this is this will be true for next week too, right? Um, any comment, anytime between now and next Friday here on the group or on the Facebook business page, get your name in the drawing, right? You get three entries if you tag a friend and say, hey, check this video out, or if you share the video, just make sure you put a comment with your tag and your share. Um, what else? If you're new to me and you sign up for my email list, you get three entries in the drawing. And then the random draw day was Sunday. I have that somewhere. Oh, it fell on the floor. Um, Sunday. So last week on Sunday, any post that I made or if you made a post, um, you get three entries in the drawing. So, okay, we're going to shake these around really well. 
and we will see. <laughs> yes, Rosemary, so cool. And now we have to, you have to tell me how to pronounce your name. I'm gonna see you at class in just a little while. So you tell me how to pronounce your new last name. I'm sure everybody's giving you a hard time about that because your, your previous last name was really easy, right? Okay, so here we go. This winner this week, I have one in my hand, is Miss Vina Gomez. There you go, congratulations, Miss Vina. Thank you guys for all your shares too. I so appreciate it. I've been working hard trying to reach more people and this is honestly one of the best ways is you guys helping me out and sharing the video. So I love and truly, truly appreciate you guys sharing that video anytime now um, through next week, really. So, okay, Miss Vina, congratulations. You are the winner of the denim ribbon. So I will get that ribbon sent out to you. Ooh, you know what I realized? I have to go get the names for Hoo, hoo, hoo. I left those, the names for the other drawing. Darn it, I have those on my desk in my craft room. I'm gonna have to run and grab those, but we'll do that in a sec. Um, let me tell you what we're gonna give away next week on Facebook Live. Comment, share, tag a friend, sign up for my email list, post a picture of a project, and you could win the Noble Peacock. Is that better over there? The Noble Peacock Rhinestones. These are so Pretty. I am in total love with that peacock, the Noble Peacock Suite. Um, I think these might even be on back order. They've kind of been on and off, so I can't say for sure. But you can get a package of these on next Friday's Facebook Live. I will do the drawing for those rhinestones. And I don't even know the names. We've kind of got, I would say, maybe Pretty Peacock, Old Olive, some kind of a pink, maybe Blushing Bride. That maybe looks like Blueberry Bushel. And actually, maybe it's Bermuda Bay. Um, and pretty peacock, I'm not even quite sure. But yeah, beautiful, I love, just such a pretty, um, I don't know, just a nice array of colors. <laughs> I know, I love all the colors too, Louise. So we will draw for those rhinestones next week. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna, I was gonna set this down, but I'm gonna go around and grab the names for the other drawing. I'll be right back, give me one sec. Sorry about that. So I did have a couple of online orders last week. So thank you guys. I, like I said, I truly appreciate um, all of your orders. So thank you, thank you, thank you for um, doing that. Um, so let's see, what are we giving away? Oh, this week, online orders. You always get the projects that I demonstrated on last Friday's Facebook Live, and then your name goes in the drawing. Um, and make sure you use the host code, just at least a $30 order. You, well, hi Trish, how are you from Indiana? Yay, thank you so much for watching. Um, okay, so this week we are giving away, this is the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. And I'm so curious, once whoever wins this, I would love to see a project that you make with this because I have yet to use this embossing folder yet. And I know I was saying last week, I think it would be really cool to use that embossing paste and kind of um, like, you know, swoosh that over the embossing once you do that on a piece of cardstock. So, okay, I've got a couple names in the drawing here, and we will draw right now for the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. Okay, so let's see. I'm always, uh, yeah, make sure I only have one in my hand, and it is Miss Susan Travis. All right, congratulations, Miss Susan. I will get the embossing folder sent out to you along with last week's projects. And then other names that are in the drawing that did not win, you will get um, the projects that I demonstrated on last week's Facebook Live. And if your order was over $50, you always get a free embellishment from me too. So you could get like an awesome thank you package in the mail for me with your online orders. Okay, we're gonna scoot that stuff out of the way. Uh, this week we have, I love, this is the designer series paper, the Brights six by six. Hi Sandy, hey Tiffany, how are you guys doing? Um, the Brights six by six designer series paper pack. I'm gonna try to kind of fan this out so you can see all the pretty colors in here. Can I get it? Uh, did I get it all? I think there's one more that I'm not showing. There, okay, look! Oh, so pretty, isn't that awesome? The Brights Designer Series paper pack. You can see all the fun, bright, brights colors. There's the another pattern. There are actually four different patterns. I'm not gonna 
worry about showing because well actually you can see right there's kind of what we call the chicken wire right there and there right and then this is kind of um, um, why am I drawing a blank oops then I'm losing paper um, I cannot think of I don't know it's like a diamond it's a diamond shape and then on the back side we have gingham and cursive writing so you get two, two of each um, so four all together right yep two and two mm -hmm. isn't that funny now I'm like okay I pulled it all apart but yeah okay so that's what we're gonna give away next week on Facebook live the brights designer series paper pack with your online order just make sure you use the host code that's always at gatheringinspiration.com and I will show you in just a little bit when we do um, the demonstrations okay um what else do we have going on oh just another quick reminder we have one week left to get the bird ballad class to go so here are a couple of cards in that class to go you make two of each of these cards and then these are the other two cards so you make four cards two of each of them so you get eight cards all together you get all the parts and pieces i give you a pdf tutorial there are a couple of different options um, all of that is on my blog again at gatheringinspiration.com i've been emailing about it too posting on facebook so if you need more info on it if you can't find the link somewhere please let me know i'm happy to share that with you i would love to get you signed up for the bird ballad class to go it features that uh, free as a bird stamp set and then those stitched nested dies so these kind of, these dies right here, that yellow piece. If you already have the stamp set or the dies, you can always substitute um, for something else as well in terms of product value. Just find something that's like the same or about the same product value. We can get that worked out. So yeah, it's awesome. You're gonna love, those cards are beautiful. I love just the really soft, pretty colors in those cards. So, okay. Um, oh, oh, here they are. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you guys, did I bring? I think I have a package of my dies here. Yeah, so I realized, oh, I was kind of telling everybody how Lily helped me out last week and put all of my dies on like these magnetic sheets. So this is one that she did for me. And I neglected to kind of tell you guys where I got um, the magnetic sheet. So I actually went to, I think it was Home Depot, I found these. So it's a vent cover. Frost King, I think is the name of the manufacturer, the vent cover. So these, you can see it's like a big long strip of them. So that's what it's intended for is to put over your vent, probably to keep bats out of your house. Actually, I should be putting these all over my vents too so they can't <laughs> come find me. Um, but these are eight inches wide by 15 inches long. So these are really good size. I could probably get, depending, and I've got a bunch of, it's funny because down in the bottom are all these extra scraps that we cut off. Um, but you can get three or four sheets of these out of one of those vent cover pieces and you get three of them in the package. And let's see, I paid uh, $5 at Home Depot for one package. I know Sharon uh, Greening shared with us also that she found them on Amazon. Um, different price, different sizes. Um, she said 25 magnetic sheets. They're five by seven size, so quite a bit smaller, really. And those are $15. So if I thought about that, I can probably get three or four five by sevens. So usually Amazon is good, but I bet I can get, I don't know, that's really hard for me to do the math while we're standing right here. <laughs> anyway, you guys do the math, but either way, whatever's easier for you, run to Home Depot or Menards or somewhere, or get on Amazon if you want to, because I love, like, look at this, like I can like, well, I guess I shouldn't have shaken them, right? <laughs> and you found them at Walmart, yes. Yeah, and I had two, but I could only find little packages of them, and I wanted to get more of them. So anyway, yeah, I was I was gonna be all smart and show you how they like don't fall off, but I guess if, if I shake it, they might, but um, yeah, they don't really, so very cool. So I just wanted to share that, because I think, um, cause the sticky on these things is only good for so long. And then you've seen how like I pull out some of mine and they're like jumbled all over the place. So feeling super organized now that I have these all on there. And I'm trying to be good too. As I get a new package, I'm trying to like cut one and put it in there right away. Cause Lily got me all caught up. So now I want to stay caught up on this. So yeah, I just thought I would share that cause I had people kind of asking about that too. So, okay. All right, I think we are ready 
to flip that camera down, okay? So let's see, I've got my grid paper. I've got the info about the host code. I think we're good. Okay, so turn your heads away for a quick sec and we're gonna fly through the air and start doing some stamping. I think this might be like record timing too. Okay, where is the flipping? Uh, I think it's that one. Everything's a little bit different too. Okay, let's scoot on over. <laughs> I pushed some button that I didn't mean to push. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. I gotta uh, adjust that a little bit. Sorry. That might, hmm, I don't know if that's too angled now. I'm trying to get, you see my little post over here. I'm trying to get that so that doesn't show. Usually that doesn't, but you know what it is? I bet it's with my new phone. It kind of has like a bigger network connection. Connection available. Okay. All right. I think we're okay. I'll hold off just for a sec. I'm going to wait for you guys to hop back on. I'll just kind of talk about this real quick because everybody kind of knows this and it's sitting right here too. But just remember, if you put an online order in of at least $30 by next Wednesday, you're going to get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate in just a minute and your name goes in the drawing. There, good, we're back. To win the Bright's Designer Series Paper Pack. If you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment too. So, okay, sorry guys. Yeah, that was, I think I pushed... You know, I tried to call the police, and apparently that interrupts Facebook Live when you do that kind of a thing. So, whoops. <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab a quick sip of water, and we are going to get to do our stamping. Mm. Okay. Um, oh, and I want to tell you guys, too. So, sometimes I like to do this. Well, a lot I like to do this. Let's see if I can find in here. Love to case copy and share everything. You guys know what that means, case, copy and share everything. Um, basically, it means, you know, find ideas um, anywhere. Pinterest is usually a great place to find lots of good ideas. But honestly, this annual catalog is a fabulous place to find ideas. So a lot of times I'll look at, you know, the ideas in the catalog and I'll be like, ooh, that is super cute and that is super cute and that and that and like oh i just want to make all these things so i decided this one was the one that really kind of caught my eye i think because it used um the embossing folder i'm going to kind of zoom right in so you guys can see that so i'm going to do my version it's a little bit different but basic idea um because i love this follow your art suite this was our product of the week I don't know, maybe a month or two ago, and we just had so much fun playing with it back then and kind of showing projects. Lots and lots of cute stuff. Um, the stamp set that it starts with art stamp set, the arts and crafts dies, the follow your art designer series paper. Love that little button button embossing folder. And then we're actually going to use that embellishment kit. That was kind of my trigger for um, wanting to do something else with this because I just ordered. So this is the box that that embellishment kit comes in. This little guy right here, super duper cute. I'm going to show you that and all the fun stuff that comes in that box. So I, cause I just ordered this. I hadn't gotten it um, until recently and I was like, okay, now I have this. Now we have to play with it. So of course you have to break out all the other things that are in the suite. Um, they've got that fun washi tape too. And then those cute little boxes, the little Stampin' Up boxes, I have not gotten those yet, but I, they're on my list because I think they're just too fun. We, we could have some fun with those, right? Okay, so here, this is my version of that card. Oh, Lily's here, I think. Is that you, Lil? Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you? You want to come do a wave? I've already put the camera down so they can't see your face, but you can come wave no. your hand in the camera. Was that a sure, Mom? I'd love to do that. That's what I thought, right, ladies? <laughs> All right, we'll see. I'm, I'm not sure that that's exactly what she's saying, but we'll see. Okay, so let me show you. Maybe we'll do dimensions first so you guys know what's what here. Maybe we'll do that. Let's see. I'm trying to make sure I have everything. Yeah, we'll do dimensions, and then I'll show you the fun stuff. Oh, she rode her bike over. That's right. Now I remember. Okay. Actually, we'll scoot this up and out of the way a little bit. Okay. So this is Blushing Bride cardstock. Are we all angled funny? Okay. So eight and a half by 11 cardstock. We cut it in half along the 11 inch side 
at five and a half inches, and then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches for our nice crisp fold on our card, right? Okay, then we have another piece of Blushing Bride cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, and this is the one that we are gonna emboss. So you can see, I put this on here and popped it up. You can kind of tell with dimensionals, that whole piece. Um, so I'll show you that. And then we did some other, we've got those two little strips. All right, just wa wave a hello. Nope, she's not gonna do it. She's hot, I think. <laughs> and maybe cranky, I'm not sure. I didn't even see her face. <laughs> you know, teenage girls, right? Okay. So then I have just these couple of little strips of, this is the Follow Your Art Designer Series paper. So I kind of went with the real kind of muted washed. You can see those are kind of fun bright colors on that side and then on the back, you've got some more muted. So these are just little strips, a half inch by three inches and then a half inch by four inches. And those are just gonna go on the card also. And then I basically just have scraps to do our stamping and die cutting. I've got Coastal Cabana, Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, Basic Gray, uh, Pacific Point, and Whisper White. So let's do our stamping because there's just a little bit of stamping to do here. And then we'll do our embossing and die cutting. Okay, so I like, actually I gotta show you guys because this stamp set is so cute. And this is one that I had not been able to order right away either. So you've probably seen lots of cute projects with this. And I think the sentiments are so fun too, right? The follow your art, you paint my world with happiness, you make everything sparkle, and let's stay up late and craft. And then all these fun kind of crafty images. And then this is my favorite. I love that little label, kind of the little scroll work detail on there. So we are gonna stamp that and then add our sentiment in. Okay, so I've got my basic gray ink pad. Uh, nice, easy, tap, 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 as always. Don't get squishy on me, right? No squish, 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 just tap, tap, tap. There we go. So there's that one. And then I've got some Pacific Point ink that we will use next. I'm just gonna lay that on there. And I wanna make sure I've got it going the right way. So let's stay up late and craft. That's funny, I have a friend that I know who I could send this to. She just told me she's coming to our weekend retreat. There, cute, cute, cute. So yeah, we do stay up late and craft at those weekend retreats, that is for sure. Okay, so now let's do our die cutting and embossing. Let's do the embossing first, actually. Because that'll be less of a worry for me to not lose that embossed piece. Okay, so where's my embossing folder? Right here. Okay, so this is the new, super duper cute, the button button embossing folder. So this is not one of the 3D folders, so you don't need that blue plate. Because this is um, the regular kind of thickness. It's not um, one of the you know thicker ones. So we've got our regular platform. Then we've got one clear plate underneath. We have our embossing folder. Can you guys see that? That does look like it's not quite in the view there, right here. I'm trying to, okay. Then we need our cardstock inside our folder. Close that up. We're gonna put that on there. And then one more clear plate on top. We're gonna make sure that's good. There, okay. So we're gonna crank this through. And you're gonna see all the super cute buttons that end up on our embossed piece. Let's get rid of these, because I don't need these anymore. Okay. Okay, so check this out, it's so fun. Ha! <laughs> Aren't those awesome, all those little buttons? Just so stinking cute, huh? And the little zigzag, like you're sewing. Well, hi Betty, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. Thank you for saying hello. I love to hear from you guys too, if I haven't said that already. Anytime while you're watching on the live or later, if you watch later here on Facebook or on YouTube, please say hello. I know I love that button folder too, babe. Um, okay, so let's see, now what are we gonna do? We're gonna do some die cutting. Trying to make sure I have what I need. Oops, and I'm grabbing things I don't need. Okay, so. Now we're gonna use lots of those dies and we're gonna to try to just kind of line up our paper. Cause the good thing is 
The only thing that we really need to make sure stays in place is that little baby right there. Now, where did I showed you guys those dies? And now where did I put them? Okay, they're here somewhere. I know it. Because I just had, oh, here they are. They're buried underneath my catalog. Yes, crafter math has begun. I'm trying to remember who, was it Nikki that you mentioned? That's what somebody calls it. And I completely agree with that. Crafter math is what <laughs> is happening on my table. Okay, so we're gonna use that cute little button on our Pacific point. We're gonna use the square button on our basic gray. Got that teeny tiny little button, that little baby right there. We're gonna put that one on the Calypso coral. And then the other one with the four little buttons right there, we're gonna put that one on Coastal Cabana. And lastly, this cute, I still think this one looks like a little antique button. So we're gonna put that baby on our crushed curry. And I think that's it other than the little label. We're gonna use that one. But you can see these cute little edging pieces. Um, and then look at, that's a little binder clip, some other teeny tiny little buttons, those pens. This is the roll of, I think it's washi tape. No, no, it's ribbon. It's Because it's kind of funny. This image right here is cut out by that piece right there. <laughs> it is a real thing. Crafter math is a real thing, Nikki. You are right about that. Okay, so we're going to use this one. Oh, but I forgot. Look at there's a little ink refill and then the paper clip. So cute. Okay, so we are going to lay this little guy right on there and do our die cutting. Let me grab my other plate. We're going to put this one on top. So I've got my magnetic platform, one clear cutting plate, my paper, the framelits with the edge down so they actually make the cut right and then one more clear cutting pad on top and there we go so there's the cute little let's stay up late and craft right and okay i'm gonna humor me ladies i'm gonna put these back on here um so that because i have to take this down to the studio for class and i don't want to not have what we need for that Okay, so let's scoot these guys out of the way. So if I just start flinging stuff everywhere, you know I'm gonna have a problem. Oh, can you guys see? Yeah, I think you can see all those, right? Okay, so there's the little, <laughs> there we go. There's the little button. Let's see, do you have the link posted for the 3D embossing folder? Diana, do you mean that blue plate that I used the other day? Um, I do, if that's what you're referring to, I think I used it on last Friday's Facebook Live. So if you find, um, I think those are supposed to pop out. Let's see, they did, yeah, those are definitely supposed to pop out, yes. Okay, so Diana, if you go to, um, go to gatheringinspiration.com and scroll back to last Friday's Facebook Live post, can you guys see that little button there too? Um, all of the item codes for everything that I used on those projects, including that blue um, 3D embossing folder plate thingy, whatever it's called. I don't have the lingo down. There's one more button, um, but it's on there. So just go there at gatheringinspiration.com, last Friday's Facebook Live video, and you will find that item code. That's probably the easiest, well, potentially. Or honestly, if you just go to stampinup.com and type in, um, embossing folder plate or something like that in the looking glass area, it'll come up because I know that's how I've done it before too. So either way, because um, we're not using it today. So yeah, I won't put, include it on today's blog post. So let me know if you can't find it. <laughs> I know basically everybody needs to order one. If you get any of our 3D embossing folders, then you really need that extra plate because it's a diff they're like an in-between thickness that we haven't had before. Okay, so as I was talking, I'm pulling this cute little, so this is the little box. The, I think it's called the, um, let's make sure, yep. Um, right, the, the follow your art embellishment kit is what this is. Okay, so it's this cute little, so can you see the little Coastal Cabana? I love the little box, right, with the little button images on there. And then, look at all this goodness inside. So there is some Calypso Coral and Pacific Point, some like linen thread. And then look at these little paper clips. They've got some, I'm gonna say pool party and blushing bride. And then the little charms. I don't know if I get, yeah, I think if I hold real still, it says made with love, I think. 
I have to look at it away from underneath there. Yep, that's funny. That really does magnify it for me. Yep, made with love, those cute little charms. We, I didn't use them at class because you only get six of them in the package, and I only bought one kit, and I have more than six people, so we couldn't use those on this card, but you certainly could at home. And then look at these little felt embellishments, and these are already kind of die cut, perforated, so you just pop them right out so you can see. Um, and I just let people use whichever ones they wanted at class. So Calypso Coral, there are some cute little felt and crushed curry. Um, there is your pool party. Uh, yeah, and they just pop right out there. And then Blushing Bride. So letting the little stitching, you can't see the stitching on the pink quite as well. I think these are the ones you can see about the best on. Um, yeah, so they're just so cute, right? So I think, I don't know, I like the Calypso Coral, so I think we're going to use we're gonna pull that little stitched flower. You can see how they just kinda of pop right out. So we're gonna use that little flower on our card today. We also need, we're gonna use one of these little cute little paper clips, okay? And then we're gonna use some of that thread too. So we'll kinda of just, I've got those off to the side there. So we'll have those all ready to go. Okay, so let's see what else do i need what else do i need i think we're good yeah let's go ahead and start putting things together okay so i've got this piece and oh you know what i didn't bring i meant to have that with me but because these are so little i'm going to use the back of my dimensional package to kind of act like my silicone craft sheet you guys know i do this all the time whenever i forget I really thought I had it out, but I must have grabbed it for something else in the meantime. Okay, so this is just a great little surface to kind of use so, so that you don't get adhesive all over this piece. And then when you run your adhesive over that with the little holes, um, the adhesive doesn't stick to the back of that sheet there either. Okay, we are also going to put these little strips on here too and add some adhesive on these babies. Okay, so we're gonna do that and that and that. Okay, and one more. This one, this one, and that one. Okay, oops, and then that happens, right? Where one of them sticks to you, but that's okay. We're just gonna put him right back down on there. Okay, so we're gonna start with this piece and I'm just kind of looking at my other example. And the kind of fun part is this can be a little bit random, like it doesn't have to. None of these are gonna look exactly the same, I don't think. And that's okay, right? Um, this little tag, I want to put some dimensionals behind, but of course I've got those. Okay, let's see here. So we are gonna, we're gonna scoot these off here because now I need, so this is why you have to have your silicone craft sheet because now I need my dimensionals and I, <laughs> they're upside down. Okay, so we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals there. I don't know, you know, I get in like a way I have to do things and um, I have to put this on so I can kind of, peek things out from behind it. So we have to put this one on next. Okay, so there is our little, let's stay up late and craft. Then we've got that little button right there. We're gonna put this blue one up there. We're gonna put this gray one, maybe, because we're gonna kinda just layer those like that'll be good, right? We're gonna put that little yellow one right there and then that one right there. So now I just need a little glue dot behind that guy. So you can see you just kind of sprinkle those cute little buttons around on your card wherever you like. Okay, so I don't know if that was in the view. I'm too busy like trying to make sure I can see it, but I don't know if you guys can see it. So I just put a little glue dot there. We're just gonna pop him right there. So that is good. And what else? Let's do, okay, so let's see how this goes. We're gonna use some of this thread. We've got our little um, teeny tiny little paper clip and we're gonna just put a little bow through here it's funny because it almost it's like thicker it's almost like two strands maybe they kind of run it probably was like the end of one and beginning of another or something I think they do that sometimes okay so we're just gonna tie a bow on our little paper clip okay very relaxing, isn't it? That did not work. What happened there? Huh, so relaxing, I kind of fell asleep at making a bow, apparently. Okay, we'll try that again. Is that it right there? There, okay. 
we have some long tails and that's why I keep it on here because I've got way more than I need on that one loop right and we'll pull this guy so there we go right we're gonna grab some scissors trim that off just a little bit there too okay so we'll pop this got to keep everything neat for everybody right okay so now we are gonna just slide this little piece right on there and I kind of liked that scooted over a little bit more so you can see it a little bit better right on the edge there right okay so now I want to put a bunch of dimensionals whenever I a lot of times I'll just adhere this right on the card front but you know when I was casing it it looked like they popped theirs up on dimensionals and I thought that was kind of cool to do but you need to have a bunch of them I think because otherwise it kind of buckles a little bit um, you know if you were just to maybe put a couple of them on there so that's just my thing I don't like for it to kind of look wavy or rumpled so if you use a bunch of these then it still looks really flat even if it's popped up because this once it's embossed it does um, I don't know it, it's like it loses its shape a little bit um, just because of the embossing, I think it kind of takes away a little bit of the structure of the card base itself, or card stock, if that makes sense. So we're just going to press that down. We're going to flip that over there a little bit more. And then my last little step, where did those babies go? I've got some right here. Okay, so these are part of the Gingham Gala sequins that carried over from the... Um, occasions catalog and I just it was funny when I when I put this together I'm like oh I feel like it needs just a little more texture so and I love to just kind of sprinkle these around on our card kind of like that so there we go first little project isn't that so cute all of the detail on those buttons and then like I said I've got a friend I'm sure we all have a friend right that we could send a card that has that sentiment let's stay up late and craft right and the cute little um, thread and the paper clip all the detail I just love all of that and I love that it embosses and die cuts at the same time I think that's so cute all the little stitching on those so okay there is one project and remember, if you put your online order in and use this host code, I'm going to send you one of these cards along with the other one we're going to do in just a sec. There are those sequins. I knew they were here somewhere. Okay. All right. We're going to scoot these babies out of the way and get going on the next card. And while I'm thinking about it, actually, I've got my little note about the super summer giveaway. So I'll just do a quick reminder because I've been meaning to remind you guys for the past few weeks and I keep forgetting. So there's still time to get your name entered into this super summer giveaway drawing. So totally separate from the drawings that I do on Facebook Live each week. I've been having this. This has been going on. Let's get that out of the way all summer long. I'm glad you like that card, Betty. Thank you. And I can take no credit. Basically, it was one of the designers um, at Stampin' Up that came up with that card, but I thought it was so cute. So, and, and I think that was also my point too in telling you guys about, you know, finding ideas from the catalog. There's no shame in casing or copying even um, someone else's card. If you love it, you know, sometimes your brain is just tired and you can't think of a new idea or something. So just check out other ideas that people have and, and make those. It still makes you feel really good to make cute things, right? Whether I came up with this idea or someone else did, I'm still really excited that I made this card. So yeah, so just, I think, like you know, sometimes people get worried about that kind of copying. Um, you can always change it up a little bit too, because a lot of times you don't have everything that they used on a project. So, you know, you make it your own just by using what you have in your stash, right? So, okay, back to the super summer giveaway. It's been going on all summer long, coming to an end at the end of August. Cannot believe summer is almost over already, right? But you have been getting entries. If you attend an event, you get one entry. For every $50 you spend, and this is at class or online, your name went in the drawing two times. If you post a picture of a project like I've made on Facebook, so either the layout, so kind of with the embossing and then little things sprinkled all over, or if you use the It Starts With Art stamp set, 
you get your name in the drawing two times. You just have to post it to Facebook and make sure you use that hashtag super summer giveaway when you post your picture, okay? Uh, if you come to class and you bring a guest, new guest, you get two entries in the drawing. If you join a club, including Paper Pumpkin, In Color Club, Scrapbook Club, Simple Beautiful Card Club, you get three entries in the drawing. So if you're local, I have options. And then actually the Class to Go Club would be one that you could do if you're long distance or Paper Pumpkin or even the In Color Club. Um, so let me know if you want more info on any of those clubs too, because I love I love to spoil my club members too. I'm going to show you guys a cute treat that I'm making for everybody this month in August um, that is a club member. Uh, if you buy the starter kit, so get that awesome starter kit deal. You get five entries into the drawing. And if you, we still have like a couple weeks left. If you want to hold a private party or class at the stamp studio or at your home, you get five entries into the drawing. So, okay, but my main point was making sure to tell you guys, make a project like this, post it to our Facebook group, use the hashtag, right, Super Summer Giveaway, and your name goes in this drawing two times. So lots and lots of ways for people to be entered locally and long distance, okay? All right, so I'm gonna bring that back just so you guys can see the host code. You guys know that host code is always at gatheringinspiration.com, right? Um, okay, so the other project I have to share with you guys let me get all of these goodies over here. So this one is featuring our product of the week, the Floral Essence Stamp Set. Isn't that beautiful? So it's the paper, I know it's the paper. Um, and it's the ribbon too, I love how they did that as well. And let me see, I'm gonna try to find that because I wanna show you guys again, I cased it right out of our catalog so you guys all know this right i'm going to just do this right in front of you so you guys know about the accessory index in the back of the catalog so anything that's not stamps right is listed on here so you can find page numbers for everything and then actually the stamp set index is what i was really looking for so oops they're kind of stuck together i want to find my floral essence stamp set it's on page 108 so we are gonna flip to page 108. There we go. Okay, so there is the Floral Essence stamp set that we've been featuring all week long as our product of the week, right? Awesome, beautiful, gorgeous. I still haven't used it enough either. That always happens. I always wanna make more things um, than I have time for. The beautiful Perennial Essence Designer Series paper, I've used that so very much. And then let me show you, this is where I found my idea. You guys have probably even seen this. I posted this whole picture on our Facebook group. But can you see, there's my card right there. So that's what we're gonna make next. It was the blues. I was totally drawn to like that pretty peacock color in that project. So, okay, let's get ourselves started on this one. Let's see, things are flying. Serious crafter math here, serious, serious business. Okay, so I'm gonna just give you dimensions. Right now, this is pretty peacock cardstock, right? We've got our eight and a half by 11. Again, along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches, and then the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Same basic kind of standing card that way. Okay, our fold, nice crisp fold. On the inside, I put a piece of Whisper White cardstock, I think, yep. And I loved that, this is blueberry bushel. I loved kind of the contrast with kind of that greeny blue with the bright blue and the yellow inside. Um, so this piece measures three and three quarters by five inches. And I did that because I wanted it to kind of mirror the size out there, although I feel like that might be a little bit different size still. Let's see, what was this size? Our designer series paper, right? Oh, it is a little bit smaller still. I didn't wanna go that small, but this piece is three and a half by four and three quarters, our designer series paper is. So that one is gonna go right there. You can see it's a tiny bit smaller, but I thought that was maybe a little bit too small to put inside the card. You know, I don't know. I get a little anal about those things sometimes. And then we have, what else? We've got a scrap of, this is pear pizzazz for our leaf punches, and then a strip of mossy meadow cardstock that measures three quarters by four and three quarters. And then I just brought a bunch of half inch strips 
and I've got one right here in case it doesn't go well because this is such a skinny little strip. It took me a few times to stamp it well. So if it doesn't go well, we're just gonna use that one, but we'll try on these. And then I've got my vellum. I love that perennial essence vellum. I've used this so much. So this is kind of the pale pink. I don't know, I think they're calling it maybe Blushing Bride even. Um, so we're gonna use that too. So actually let's stamp on here. If you can see, we actually stamped a couple of them. We, we used four of those flower punches. So let's do that first. So we kind of have that all ready to go here, okay? Let's see, because I don't think we need the big shot for this one actually. All right, let me get my, I use petal pink ink on here, okay? So I've got my petal pink ink. Scoot those out of the way too. Okay, ooh, that one opens nice and easy. Okay, and this is that floral essence stamp set. We're gonna use this stamp right here. And this is the sentiment we're using. With friendly thoughts and best wishes today and every day. Such a nice sentiment, right? This is awesome too, right? Wishing you a blissful future and all days are beautiful that begin with you. So great sentiment, beautiful imagery, definitely a must have. It's a bundle too, if you guys haven't figured that out yet, the stamp set and this punch. What is the name of this punch? the perennial flower punch. You can get them together in the bundle, the stamp set, the floral essence stamp set, and then the perennial flower punch. Okay, so you can see I'm just stamping a couple of these in our petal pink ink, and you can kind of see those on there, right? So I'm gonna set this aside to dry just a little bit. I just don't want it to get on, or you know, smear when I handle it and punch things out, okay? So then let's actually stamp the inside of our card. So I've got my blueberry bushel ink and I'm gonna use this little stamp and I just kind of stamped it right in the corner there, right? Now the trick is to get this little center right in there, but I know we can do it. I did it last time on my very first try. So I've completely jinxed myself by saying that now, I'm sure. Crushed curry ink. I love to kind of put my pointer finger on the corner of this. I don't know, somehow I feel like that helps me guide it a little bit. And then press down. That's good. I'm happy with that one too. All right. Okay, so that'll go on the inside. All right, and actually let's see how we do. I'm gonna try a couple, well, with our sentiment on these little half inch strips. I have like 10 million of these half inch strips because of, you know, when you cut the cardstock down a little bit for layering, I tend to always kind of cut it down about a half an inch. So let's see, actually I need a little bit of room there, don't I? Ooh, hey, that one might be better than the one I brought over. We're gonna go with that one. Can you guys even see that there? Maybe that's a little bit better, huh? Okay, good, all right, we got that one too. Okie dokie, I think we can kind of start putting things together. So let's do that. We're gonna grab this. And yeah, we'll do our punching in a sec. Okay, so we're gonna add some adhesive. We got a bunch of rain here yesterday. Everything, my windows are open too, so everything feels a little damp and humid in my house. So I think I need extra adhesive <laughs> to hold everything together. All right, so we're gonna put that guy on. Then we are gonna use a little more adhesive on. This is our mossy meadow piece. We're gonna run that right along about there, okay? Now, let's see, what do I wanna do next? Okay, I think I used the ribbon next. So this one, I took a little loop. Thank you, Philomena. I know these Stampin' Up! concept artists are pretty fabulous, aren't they? Okay, so I'm trying to remember how I did do this yeah so let's see that one is gonna go actually we don't even need i'll show you i'm kind of trying to look at my card here and see so this one is kind of looped like this so i'm going to add some adhesive right there and i just want that kind of sticking up there and then i'm going to add a little more adhesive because i really just want the loop on the bottom here is all i'm looking to see that little loop there okay then i'm going to trim this one at a little bit of an angle. And I 
be right about like that. Then I just kind of laid that one right on there. You got to get a good amount of, and that's okay if that kind of flips around a little bit. All right, so if we do it like that, I think that is good. Okay, now we are going to punch a couple of, these are the leaf punch out of Pear Pizzazz cardstock. I was having a moment. What's this color called? Okay, now where are my, I was going to, you know what, here, we'll just do this. I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive right on this. Ooh, Nikki's saying that she saw an idea that if you heat this ribbon, it crinkles up. Oh, I bet that's really, really, really pretty. Nikki, that's a cool idea. We might have to try that sometime, huh? So many good ideas out there. Okay, we're going to put some dimensionals over that, so that'll hold that all together then, too. Okay, now let's do our punching with our vellum. So I actually punched... Well, let's see, we'll get these that are stamped first. So we'll get that close, okay? So we've got one that's stamped. And let's see if we kind of scoot that one around, the other one that is stamped. And then I did another two of these. You're not gonna see the stamping on them, so I didn't even worry about stamping these, okay? There we go. <laughs> you saw that too, huh, Betty? Oh, that sounds awesome. We're gonna have to check that out sometime. Okay, so now I am going to, let's see, we'll put a little bit of adhesive on this one. And what's kind of fun is if this one is pointing down, if you point that one up, it makes the perfect flower, right? So then same thing, if that one is pointing up, when we layer this one, we point that one down, and that works perfectly too. And then we're gonna add, a little more adhesive there. And then this one we kind of off, just kind of off kilter a little bit there, okay? Now, I love to kind of curl, I thought it was fun to curl the stamped ones up a little bit. So we're gonna do that, right? Make that. And then we're gonna put a little, um, a dimensional. And where the heck are those things? Here we go. We're gonna put a dimensional right back behind that guy okay and then we're going to put that right down over kind of those leaves too to kind of help hold everything in place right i know that vellum is beautiful isn't it Marianne? all right let's see now the last step i've been using these because you guys i don't have any more of those awesome the perennial essence those floral centers i used them all up and i'm just waiting very impatiently to get my next shipment of them whenever they come in so in the meantime i've been substituting and using the gold faceted gems i think they're still very pretty i don't know why i just absolutely love those other pieces the floral essence those yellow ones that kind of look like um, pollen. They're like pollinated. I don't know why I think that's so cool. Okay, so I'm just kind of cutting that strip down a little bit, and then I'm just going to kind of flag the end. I think it's easiest if you kind of cut up the center. And then I have found it's easier to flip it over and do both of them the same way than trying to cut that way and that way. I'm not very good at that. So there is that piece, and that's just going to fit... I might trim that off just a little bit there too. Okay, so I'm gonna put some adhesive on that and slip that in right about there. And there we go. Oh no, actually, hold on. Let's put this on the inside too, right? Before I forget that. Okay. And then this one goes on the inside right there. So isn't that beautiful? Like I said, I love that contrast of that pretty peacock with the bright blueberry bushel on the inside with that pretty yellow. And then our beautiful card. Love, love, love that card. Okay, so ladies, quick reminder recap. Especially if you're new to Facebook Live, if you're just watching, I want to make sure everybody understands that you guys can get one of each of these cards sent to you when you put at least a $30 order in online 
When you use this host code, the 9ZCA6ZT3, right, you will definitely get one of each of these cards that I demonstrated today. And then your name goes in the drawing to win the Bright's Designer Series paper stack, okay? If you bump your order up to $50, you also get a free embellishment. So you get lots and lots of good stuff for your online orders. And I do truly appreciate your online orders. You're going to help me get rid of the bats <laughs> with those online orders. Lily was like, Mom, you need to have a fundraiser. Because she heard someone else talking about that, about doing a fundraiser. I'm like, I don't know, Lil, if I can do a fundraiser for my own self. That sounds kind of funny. But yeah, so you can help me rid the house of bats by putting your online orders in using that host code. I'll send you lots of fun stuff. And, and we'll all be able to sleep well at night. <laughs> so, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you were inspired today. I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend. And we will see you next Friday. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for watching.